I'm photographer Robert Jonas, and I'm here with Jana Roya. Jana Roya. And what do you do for a living? I'm a dance artist. Fabulous. So let me ask you some questions. Sure. When did you start singing? Oh my god, you know, every time people ask me that question, I always say, does that mean when did you start singing or when did you start getting paid to sing? So, when I started getting paid to sing, it was, mm, I would say in the 90s, yeah. Because I started out as a dancer and then moved into singing by accident. I knew a friend who brought me in and to the studio and we recorded and the rest is kind of history. Perfect. Who is your audience? My audience is usually gay males, um, but I do have some young ones as well. A lot of people over in Europe and Brazil. Oh, wow. What are your goals for your music? My goals for my music? Hmm, that's a tough one. My goals for my music? I don't know if I really have the goals for the music as much as I just, I just like to do a plethora of things. I don't want to stay true, tr I don't want to stay pigeonholed into one kind of category. I like to explore more than one. So I like to do world, I like to do a little bit of jazz. I like to kind of expand my horizons. Very cool. This one I have to turn because what was it like working with myself, photographer Robert Jonas? You know what? That was a fun photo shoot. Not only was it quick, fast, easy, there's a lot of laughter, it was just very innovative as well. I enjoyed it so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you write your own songs? Some songs I do and some songs I don't. Sometimes I collaborate with other producers and sometimes uh, a DJ will send me the tracks and I'll see what comes up the top of my head. Sometimes it will just start with a hook and then we'll put out a track with a hook and then the hook track does so well we'll have to go back and rewrite a verse and a lyric and you know another verse. So it's kind of a combination. What what inspire you? Other people. I'm inspired by other people's stories. So a lot of times when you hear a subject that I'm singing about, I'm living vicariously through someone else. And sometimes it's an event that is very important to me that I think, you know, I can sing about. How many music videos do you have and which one is your biggest hit? My biggest hit video would be Waiting for Alegria. Because it was the theme song for the Alegria Parties by Rick Senna. And Tony Moran produced it. So, and Mike Ruiz shot the video. Oh, <laughs> we love Mike Ruiz. Yeah, it was one of his first music videos. It was our first venture together, so I was very much a part of the uh, concept as well. So we, co we collaborated the two of us together. And we came up with a beautiful piece, I must say, considering um, it came all out of our own. What's the name again? Waiting for Alegria. Okay, okay I'm gonna look for it. What scares you? What scares me? Mm. I think I, it, de it depends on the... It de I, it's, it's a tough one. I would say it depends on the... Uh, on the subject, I guess. You know what, what scares you the most? Like it could be like an animal, it could be loneliness, it could be something, the most. I haven't thought about that one. I haven't, probably being alone. And by being alone doesn't mean that I'm lonely. It just means being alone, just having no one. So I really, my, what's very important for me is to be around a good group network of friends and people who I really confide in and who support me and I support them. Being without that support, not good for me. I agree. What are some of your musical inspirations, your icons? Musical icons. Oh, well, I do like. Um, I'm kind of eclectic when it comes to music. I, I can span the gamut from Jeffrey Osborne to Enya to Barbara Tucker to. I do like Jessie J. I like some of her stuff. Um, Shaka Khan. I mean, I, I don't have. I don't have a niche. Cool. What advice would you have for artists that want to start performing? I 
think it's very important that a lot of people tend to look at singing as just having a great voice. But when it comes to performing, you can have a great voice and not be a very dynamic performer. For me, it was very important that I looked at artists that I admired, especially the ones in movies and, and, and ones that were larger than life. So you have to find out who you are as an entertainer and what message in your visual you are trying to portray. And it doesn't necessarily have to always be over the top, but it has to be engaging. So make sure you connect with the audience, make sure that you invite them in rather than them trying to come into your world. You want to open the door so that they embrace you. So eye contact, let your emotion come out in the music, otherwise you just have a beautiful voice that's disconnected to what you're singing about. Tell us something about you that nobody knows. Something about me that nobody knows. Then they'd all know if I told you. Okay. <laughs> For a hot minute, I did work as a dominatrix in a dominatrix house. And because of that, that helped me to understand the world of s &M. So that I could become a singer in the matrix for my song, No Man Can Tame Me, that was put out on cult records by Dynamix. So it gave me that persona of the dominatrix. Awesome, and we love that. The gays all know that song. We love it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're an icon. Thank you. <laughs> so, anything else you want to add to this interview? I can't think of anything right now. Well, thank it's been you. A pleasure. Thank you so much for this, and looking forward to collaborating with you again. Thank you, Rob. Me too.